The centroid, the point of balance for a region in the XY plane, can be also located using definite integrals. Namely, if you're looking for the centroid of a region under the graph of a function f over the integral a, b, you can find it located at the point with coordinates x bar and y bar, which are given by these definite integrals, and you may view these as the weighted averages of the x and y coordinates in this region, uh, respectively. Okay, let's find the centroid of a region. Use integrals to locate the centroid of the right triangle enclosed between the coordinate axis and the line with the equation y equals 6 minus 2x. Pause the video, calculate the coordinates of the centroid, and put your answers in the boxes. Okay, I hope you paused it and have found these coordinates to be 1 and 2. So what we need to do is take uh, the function f of x equals 6 minus 2x and then establish the boundaries a and b for the integrals. So for that we need to find out where the coordinate axes are uh, intersecting with the uh, graph of the function. So uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, the y-intercept is 6, that happens at x equals 0, and the x-intercept is 3, so uh, that's where we have y equals 0. So uh, along the x-axis we need to integrate from uh, 0 to 3. First, for the denominators in both uh, coordinates of the centroid, we need to evaluate the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx, so that's from 0 to 3 um, of 6 minus 2x, dx. So this is basically the area of that triangle, but let's just evaluate it uh, as we would any integral. So that's 6x minus x squared for an antiderivative. Its change as uh, x goes from uh, 0 to 3 is uh, 18 minus uh, 9, um, from which we need to subtract 0, so we get, an, we get 9 for this integral. As for the integral uh, that appears in the numerator of the x-coordinate, uh, we need to take x times the function, so x times uh, 6 minus 2x dx, as x goes from 0 to 3, so that's the integral from 0 to 3 of 6x minus 2x squared dx. Now that integral um, uh, can be written as uh, 3x squared minus 2 thirds of x cubed as x changes from 0 to 3. Uh, evaluating at uh, the limits we get 3 times uh, 3 squared, so that's 27, from which we need to subtract 2 thirds of 3 cubed, which is again 27, 2 thirds of uh, 3 cubed is 18, so we get 9 again. So that ratio, uh, this integral over the previous integral, 9 over 9, gives us the x-coordinate of the centroid as 1. Now as for the y-coordinate, we need to take the integral from 0 to 3 of half times the square of the function, so that's 6 minus uh, 2x squared dx. Just expanding that uh, product, we get a half times the integral from 0 to 3 of 36 minus, uh, that is uh, 24x plus 4x squared. Well, we can simplify by that factor of a half to get the integral of, from 0 to 3 of 18 minus 12x plus 2x squared dx. An antiderivative for that is 12 is 18x minus 6x squared plus 2 thirds of x cubed. And as x changes from 0 to 3, we need to evaluate this. Well, uh, when x is equal to 3, we get uh, 18 times 3, that's 54, minus 6 times uh, 3 squared, so that's 6 times 9, that's again 54. Uh, plus 2 thirds of uh, 3 cubed, so that's 27, 2 thirds of 27 is 18. So therefore, for the y coordinate of the centroid, we get 18 over 9, and that is indeed 2. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.